Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, just a quick reminder, you can join my channel for 99 cents a month to receive access to my community tab, or you can go over to the membership tab. Um, you can sign up also for the $9.99 a month, and you'll see all the perks there if you wish to join. Um, I'll be adding some more perks also to that $9.99 um, special. <laughs> A membership so just stay tuned for that all right you guys so hope you're all doing well if you're new please do um, click the subscribe button if you like what you hear here and uh, this is a Virgo only channel Virgo Sun Moon rising or Venus okay and as usual some of the messages may or may not resonate so take what fits leave the rest yeah and um you can also book a personal reading with me you guys the link is below in the description box so hello everyone in the chat hope you're all doing well and you had a great birthday weekend so we are out of virgo season officially and we're going into libra season and as i'm doing this september 25th reading we are in the new moon which is in libra um, so there's new starts, new beginnings. For Li uh, Libra is the sign, is Venus ruled. So that is a message of partnerships. Okay, so we're going to start with the singles and I'm going to get in and check and see for you what's going on for you, Virgo. Um, and uh, look at your energy. If you are single, you have no one on your mind at all. You're looking to meet somebody. You're looking to date. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so recent past, you have the King of Pentacles and the Chariot, okay? So it looks like in the past position, Virgo, it looks like you took off. You left something. You got in your car and you left. Some of you bought a new car. Um, some of you just, you know, punched in your GPS directions and said, this is where I'm taking my life. This is where I'm going. This is what I want to do. Some of you are traveling. You may have relocated. Um, so I feel like you, um, the past could be recent past. It could be whenever the past is for you or any of this resonates for you. I feel like Virgo, there's just this, you, not justice. I said, just this, you, um, you might have received some kind of a gift also this is a king of presents so maybe you gifted yourself something or you received something in the past that gave you the opportunity to move forward in whatever direction you wanted to go in your life which you know maybe you have arrived there presently or you're not there yet you're still on that journey so let's take a look and see your situation right now Okay, so you have the High Priestess. Okay, trusting your intuition at this time, trusting your gut. Right, Virgo? So you have this. I feel like everything from the recent past up until now, now you are like no longer, maybe not asking for advice. You're no longer checking in with others. I feel like you're more in this position of like, I'm just going to trust spirit, trust God, um, trust the universe, allow those blessings to come. I'm trusting the process, what's best for me, right? So I feel like that's what you're saying to yourself at this time, which is good. You, um, you have some knowledge, you're keeping some secrets, you're not really telling anybody what you're doing or what your plans are, maybe just a few here or there. Um, but it feels like for you, you're, you really, I feel now in this position right now, you're good. You're a lot of you might be meditating, you're praying, you're just doing a lot of like going within, gaining that inner knowledge, inner wisdom. You know, um, some of you are getting guidance from tarot, you know, a, a really good energy. I like where you're sitting at this time with the high priestess. It's like, I feel like you're just, you're still and you're not rushing. You're not reaching back to the past. You're not rushing, you know, living in the future. You're, you're mindful and you're present, which that's a good energy for you. Okay. Very good. Now, what is your block at this time in your life, in your romantic life? Okay. Hmm. Okay. You have the four of swords. So you might have a little passivity. Be careful. I feel like, so, okay. For some of you, you might be 
trying to talk to other people or reach out to other people or are responding but nothing's really going on at this time nobody's really responding or there's like this energy of passivity they just keep giving me this word passivity so remember what i was saying you're sitting there with the high priestess so you're kind of like you know what i'm just i'm just gonna wait for not anyone in particular but i'm just it feels like the block of passivity is like the message is no don't be passive i feel like the the message is once you get the spiritual download and you figure out what you need to do okay then you need to take action the block is some of you are coming to terms with something or you need to you know what you need to do but you're not doing it okay the block is you're, you're sitting on your ass too long <laughs> that's the four of swords that's rest retreat renewal some of you are resting too much okay it's i feel like the message here is don't let too much time pass you by right as soon as you get that aha moment in your life right so that's in general when it comes to love though um I feel like some of you, I don't know if it's a fear, a fear to take action, a fear to overcome some kind of block. Some of you might just kind of be like, oh, I'm not, I'm really not ready to get into a relationship. I'm not sure that's something that I want to do just yet. And I'm just kind of sitting still. Some of you might have um, analysis paralysis where you're checking your list once, twice, three times, four times about someone. Um, that or other people that you're interested in and you might be like you know okay well they're this then they're this then they're this and blah that's out right so i feel like when it comes to your love life uh the message is don't be over picky right uh, because that might be a block sometimes being too picky right can be a block so i, I kind of feel like in your love life that's you know you've left something and you started over but now you're kind of like well i feel like i'll intuitively know when i meet somebody what i need to do or which direction i need if this is going to be the one for me but then you're like no no this person does this no no that person does that no no he or she does this no not doing it i'm just gonna stay still and i feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself, but that might be your Achilles heel is not so much. So passivity is in the form of you're not receiving. Okay. It's not so much for some of you it could be a lack of action, but for others, somebody's reaching out perhaps, or there's interest or you're generating interest in your love life. And you're like, trying to cross all these t's dot all these i's and make sure that they're perfect because you don't want to get hurt again or you just left something and you're on a good path and you don't want to like go back down that road again but you know i always say if you're too blocked you're too, if your heart's too locked up um nobody gets a chance to get in you know and um be careful that you're not looking uh, be careful of perfectionism that's really just the word because perfection perfectionism can cause passivity because it can cause us not to act because we're waiting for things to be perfect or we want it to be just right and nothing is ever perfect nothing is ever just right sometimes getting messy is the way to do it you know so um let me see what your what's the root of your problem here the block is definitely passivity Okay, the root of your problem. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Oh, this is your emotions, okay? You're very sensitive, Virgo. Now, maybe not all of you, but during this time, there's a there's a deep sensitivity going on with you, okay? Um, you might feel too emotional or too overly sensitive at this time to make a connection with someone or just get yourself that might be why you're blocking off because some of you might really you might be um, putting the cart before the horse some of you might really 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 want to be in a connection and meet someone and some of you are telling yourselves you're ready but if you're 
if you're one of these Virgos here who's listening, who is kind of like you see someone you're interested in, and then they say one thing that doesn't um, fit you, or you don't like the way they say it, or maybe you don't like their spelling, <laughs> they texting or something, then you're like, nah, not for me. Okay. And I feel like what's going on there is that you may not be as ready as you think you are. And that's all right. You know, um, but if you're waiting for your the right time again, for you to be perfectly ready, uh, you won't be because love, you know, meeting someone, um, it just happens organically. You know, it, it, there's no perfect, we can't like punch in the digits and say, you know, spirit, bring me this specific person and they have to be perfect and I want you know this color hair and this height and I want you know this type of job and things like that right so I feel like you're deeply emotional at this time okay and hmm page of candles which is the page of cups yeah like I feel like you some of you I'm, I'm just I'm just hearing the cart before the horse. Some of you, um, gosh, this feels like meeting someone, getting super excited about someone, and then, and really feeling that energetic love, that emotion, that sweetness, you know, and that kind of energy, that crush kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't care how old you are. Everybody has it. And then you block yourself with... You know, oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe not. You know, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here. Okay. That's the block. But what are the possibilities here for you? And after this, I'm going to go into the overall messages for those of you who have someone on your mind. So I'll extend it a little more. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, just real quick, I'm using the nightmare before christmas deck um that was a gift and i hate to tell you this you guys but i thought to myself oh i don't need to read these cards i know exactly what the cards are you know i've been doing this long enough okay but um okay never mind i'm an idiot two of cups what are the possibilities? beautiful connecting with someone meeting someone like it's all here for you um, I just feel like Virgo, there might be a little bit of like, um, like I said, be careful of, you know, crossing somebody out or saying no before you say yes, give someone a chance. Okay. Even if they're not your, uh, you know, your usual expectation, um, give somebody a chance. That's what I'm hearing. And why am I hearing this? Because I'm, there's an opportunity here with the two of cups that, there is somebody here that I feel like you could be connecting with, okay, in October especially, or well, the rest of um, September going into October. So there is like um, two people will come into a romantic relationship, you and another person, okay. <clears throat> it can happen. It's here. You know, this, this is like, maybe you're talking to somebody right now, and you're single, nothing's been, you know, put in stone at this time, but you're maybe you're doubtful for some reason. I just want, you know what, let me just take a look at this Four of Swords one more time here. Okay. Wow. Ten of Cups. Okay, Virgo, so I feel like for you... Okay, for for some of you, you don't want to be married again. I'm just hearing that. You're not interested in that, so you're kind of slowing it down. Um, you're not rushing into your relationship because you're kind of fearful you're going to meet someone that wants to get married, and then you're going to have to end it. For others, there is this... Again, you want it to be a perfect union. You want it to be um, the Ten of Cups. You want it to be happily ever after. <sighs> And you're knocking, you're crossing off. You may start crossing off people who, with just the slightest flaw, you're you're looking for Mr. or Mrs. Right. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. 
but I feel like your expectations might be a little too high, way too high. I mean, not a little. It's okay to have some type of idea, I feel like, of what you want and who you're looking for in your life. There's somebody here, though. Could be a Pisces showing up. Could be a Cancer or a water sign, okay? There's a possibility with one of those signs. All right, let me see here. Show us what direction, where Virgo is headed. Okay. All right, Page of Swords. Well, Virgo, there's definitely gonna be communication. I feel like you're, <laughs> Virgo, I just feel like you're really hard to date. Let me tell you something. <laughs> And listen, I'm not, I'm not knocking you. I'm a Virgo too. You're analytical. You're questioning a lot. Like Virgo, you just, I feel like if, if there's somebody in your life, you're connecting with someone, the message here for you, I feel like is just chill. Like just keep it cool. Like don't overanalyze something. You know, it's okay if you want to ask questions, you're getting to know someone. I feel like that's going to be, if you meet someone in October, if you're talking to them now, that's going to be the next step. But just be careful that you don't get into overload, you know, getting their name, their social security, their telephone, their address, a background check. I mean, some of you, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting to know these important things about people, but if you rush it too fast, you're going to blow, you're going to scare somebody away, right? Because I feel like you guys are going to connect with someone if you're not already. And then by the end of the week, you're going to want to have all the dates, all the information about them, every, you're not going to unturn any stone okay you're just like oh i gotta know this and i want to know this and tell me and you're like a motor mouth and you like chill virgo just relax just have fun go on these dates go out with somebody here that you could be connecting you know have a good time ask the questions when the timing is right when the conversations come up you know some of you are out here like all right Nice to meet you. My name is Virgo. I have a checklist. I'm going to need you to fill out this checklist of all your do's and don'ts. I'm going to need you to answer all of these questions. Lord knows I have done this. I'm going to, long, long time ago, I'm going to need you to answer all of these questions. I'm going to need your, all of your information, background information. I'm going to need your signature that I can run a background check on you. I'm going to need the make and model of your car and the VIN number. So I might need to track you later in case you screw me over. <laughs> and I feel like Virgo, this person is going to be like, you're out of your mind. You're like full on 100% over the top, crazy out of your freaking mind. Don't call me again. I don't want to talk to you. So Virgo, I know this is not for all of you, but somebody, somebody here is going to be like, oh, oh. I better chill. I better chill. You go on this date, you connect with this person. It looks like a water sign and just have a good time. Just have a good time. In the beginning, you can get all that information later, the more and more dates because Virgo, you might go on a few more dates with this person and there's a possibility you might be like, you know what? I'm not even into this person. Like I, 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 there's no spark. There's no chemistry. So all that information you have, people are not going to give that stuff up. Not in today's day and age. Okay. So <laughs> you're headed in that direction. So slow it down. That's what I feel. All right. Let me see what your view of yourself is. How are you viewing yourself at this time, Virgo? This deck is like super brand new. It's the first time I'm using it. Okay. Hmm. So you were viewing yourself as hot to trot, honestly. You're looking at yourself like nobody puts baby in a cauldron. <laughs> nobody puts baby in the corner or 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 hottie in the corner whatever i feel like you have like this overabundance and confidence you so it's kind of like virgo i feel like you know that you're you're good you, you got the goods you know that you're attractive you know that you know so your view of yourself like your self-esteem looks pretty high okay 
Um, it's it's kind of though I feel like you might be a little bit over the top in October um, just kind of like you know I'm the queen and you're a peasant I'm the king and you're just a maiden <laughs> and I don't feel like you're going to be judgmental or critical or hurting anyone but I feel like your vibe you know and, and in some ways yes you should be that way um, but I, I feel like you shouldn't come in with that that queen of wands king of wands energy where i'm the boss and you're going to do what i tell you in order for this to work <laughs> but you're definitely viewing yourself as like in boss mode level up mode you're not taking any shit from anybody and you're doing what you need to do for yourself let me take a look at what's surrounding you here okay so you've got the sun and you have okay so this is your environment, the wheel of fortune. So Virgo, I feel like I have to tell you everything surrounding you in your life in October, especially um, Libra season, new moon in Libra, partnerships, love, you know, we're coming out of that Venus ret or that Mercury retrograde for sure. Um, communications are going to start up. I feel like everything will be in your favor. Everything will be conducive to meeting someone. And I do feel like you're going to. Um, so I feel like things are just going to work out. Like, you know, trust the process. Universe is supporting this. What you're doing in your life, you have, you have the blessings, Okay, to keep moving forward and to get to a place that you want to be. There's positivity and sunshine and happiness and joy with the sun. Okay, and it's a very lucky time for you to connect with someone, especially I think it's cuffing season going into the holidays. I do feel like you will have a holiday date or romance for sure. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. Okay. Hmm. So you got five of wands. Okay. So you do fear that you might be overly defensive, um, but you hope that you'll be able to maintain boundaries. Okay. Because Virgo, I feel like some of you might be, you know, you meet someone and then you're gun ho about them and then you don't vet them and then you jump in with someone that you really don't know and you already, you know, walk around with their name on your tattooed on your arm before you even know their last name some of you just get so excited and others of you might be like on the opposite direction like there ain't no love here until you give me your your social security number so i feel like you got to kind of find that sweet spot for yourself just keep it cool virgo just go with the flow right time the time will allow for you to get to know someone you know um to find out information about them okay so it, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here with you. I feel like somebody comes in and do you know what? The reason why you may feel this way connecting with this person is because with this two of cups, this is your ultimate match. This is a beautiful soulmate mutual connection and it's exciting and it might scare you. And for others, it might get you so excited that you forget to be mindful of yourself, okay? Let's take a look at the outcome and where the energy will head towards the end of October. When we finish out the month of October, where will this energy head for Virgo? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So... Eight of Cups. I feel like there will be a journey that you'll take with this person. Um, I feel like there'll be dating. I'm, I'm not seeing any major commitment or anything like that. I feel like there might be some traveling or you guys will spend time together. There will also, so it's a dating because the Eight of Cups is an energy of temporary separation, which means you'll have your time together and then you'll have your time apart. In other words, there isn't going to be this every single day kind of energy okay that's where it will head which i actually think is very healthy because there's 
you being independent, the other person being independent. And then when you come together, you're interdependent in the relationship and you take what you each share throughout your day, you and your life, this person in their life, and then you come together and you, you know, bring that to each other and express and open and communicate with each other. So I do feel like there's a soulmate energy coming in here for you in October. And it makes me feel very happy for this for you. This is definitely a reading for somebody new you'll be connecting with. For some, this is a friend that turns in, you know, turns into more if that's something you're interested in. But there with that two of cups, I mean, it's so beautiful that it showed up because this is definitely like making plans together. Someone that you find yourself on the same page with, as long as you don't scare them away, don't scare them away with like latching on to them or pushing them away too far. Find that sweet spot and get to know each other. It, it's a beautiful connection. I have to tell you, it's a beautiful connection. Where will Virgo be meeting this person? Let me just ask for the singles. Where is Virgo going to meet this person? Okay. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Some of you could be at work. You might connect with this person. Maybe you already know them. Um, there could be a friendship already, but they're at your work. Okay. Are they connected to money? Okay. Paychecks, finances, business, career. They're connected to all of that. Let me see. You know, it's funny because this, um, I don't know what the heck. I don't, I never saw the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I was going to say Nightmare on Elm Street. What the heck? Nightmare Before Christmas. I never saw that. I remember when it came out. That's how old I am. Um, on VHS. But yeah, I don't think I ever watched it. I think I was like in my 20s when it came out. I'm like, it's a kid's show. I don't watch that stuff. But anyway, so I don't know the characters on here. Maybe you do. Some of you guys might have watched it. I don't know. These cards are so cute. But um, I see someone with a clipboard, okay? This person is with a clipboard, or you're with a clipboard, and that's where you'll connect with this person, okay? Somewhere, it's not, so in a place, it's connected to money, but it, you'll know them by a clipboard, or you'll have your clipboard when they come to talk to you, if you don't know who they are, okay? What else are they giving me? Okay, yep, Eight of Pentacles, very much connected to money, connected to all that stuff that I said, they could be working, sitting at a desk, that kind of energy. I mean, I love this singles read for you guys. So, you know, you have all of October to connect with someone here. So connect with them and have a good time. Enjoy. You know, we have Halloween coming and we're going into the holiday season. So, you know, Virgo, if somebody asks you out or you see someone you like and you ask them out, go on that date. Go have a good time. Okay. All right. That's going to be the singles reading. Now we're going to get in to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to skip on this because I'm just going to use this for singles for October. Let's get into um, the general love reading for all of you. Okay. So it's like a double Sunday night, double Sunday night special. Okay. Let's take a look. What else does Virgo need to know? General love reading for all my Virgos. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All Virgos. General love message. Okay. Healthy choices. Beautiful. So you're still in that energy. I love it. Making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier okay beautiful let's see what else other message okay not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy so i feel like a lot of you are overcoming some stuff here you may have felt like um you weren't good enough for somebody um, maybe they made you feel that way or maybe you just felt that way on your own whatever the case may be you're doing much better you're doing much better you're loving yourself you're happier you're realizing you are enough um, there it, there was a relationship that looked like it was very frustrating okay um, maybe there was two people who ha didn't have much confidence that the relationship could work there might have been some sabotage some ego issues going on um, someone might have been jealous 
Okay, and now you've got Cuba's arrows. Okay, hmm. have faith though. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, so for some of you, since we already did the singles reading, right? So we know that there's going to be a love connection. But for some of you, there is a relationship that maybe you were connected with somebody where, yeah, um, you for some reason something like i said you weren't feeling like you were either good enough and you, you changed things about yourself um you made yourself better you're making yourself better which is attracting love but also there's another person here in the mix who it feels like they didn't feel good enough for the relationship or they had a lack of confidence or self-esteem issues. And this person has learned if you're in separation with this person, it feels like this person, um, you know, if you're wanting them back, they are healing. They are getting their self-confidence back. They're making happier, uh, healthier choices and taking care of their mental okay so you might have been connected with someone who is very deeply insecure in um had a, la a lack of confidence or self-esteem never felt like they could be good enough for you that energy um but i have to tell you i'm seeing that this person is like really healing um, so I don't know if they're praying to the Lord above or going to Jesus or listening to tarot, getting some healing, talking to a counselor, a therapist, m m bettering themselves for you. And I do feel like there's something here that's going to start up this person. I feel like it's going to reach out, invite you somewhere. It's going to be a surprise. And I feel like this person wants to meet up with you. You know, they're a the hesitation is there and i feel like that's because they don't know if they could be good enough for you or if you would take them back okay so let's get into the rest of this reading and see what's going on with this person and then we'll look at you okay so king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn you could have been connecting with otherwise this person they're in a much better place they're showing up here very stable showing up very secure they're showing up um they know what they want they know how to get what they want in life this person might have had um financial problems or they were broke maybe they lost a lot of money or they're in they were in heavy debt i feel like this person has reaccumulated all of their wealth um they are running a business they are taking care of family they are paying their debts they are paying their bills doing everything they need to do wow the world yeah this person made a huge change Sh major shift okay this person may be traveling the world um they might be at a distance from you there could be communication from them over the the world wide web we like to say or the internet um there's some type of connection that's being made here okay so again virgo taurus capricorn now we have aquarius leo and scorpio energy so this person has started a whole new chapter in their life right to go from not feeling worthy to being happier something happened something happened that has caused a profound shift in this person's life and I feel like this person um, is going to reach back out to you like with a brand new pair of shoes. You know what I mean? Like they're st like all like new clothes, money in the bank. I know these are all aesthetic things, but they seem to be very important to this person showing up as a king of pentacles. It looks like this was their priority. Um, stable, secure, grounded, mature. Um good head for business like i don't know brand new haircut looking fine looking great <laughs> let me see what else is going on here okay oh my god ten of pentacles see maybe they're like 
maybe this person worked in um, low, the lowest level of business and now they're like a financier or you know they they bought a home um, they they have like it's all wealth it's all wealth a total shift and change and I feel like this person coming in with these Cupid's arrows you know for some of you I feel like this person um, wants to show you they want to show you this brand new chapter that they've they've begun in their life I don't know how long you've been apart from this person I know some of you it's I know some of you this is not going to resonate and that's fine you you don't have to comment you can go back to the singles because that'll be for you because you're you are the ones who are not looking to have a past person back but some of the others I know that like somebody needed another person to go through change and some of you might have let somebody go so they could get their healing and follow their path and what they need to do for themselves okay and i see them showing up here uh, with like mr or mrs money bags you know abundance it doesn't necessarily have to be money but having things that show it's assets that's what i'm hearing they've got some assets and having the ability and they might even show you like all the bills and that they're clear of debt um, paying you back for something as well okay so this person you know whatever they were doing before for a career they are now like the top of the ladder right they've reached the pinnacle of their career the, the heights that they could get to okay now why is this important for this person because they're showing up in this earth energy okay and you of all people will understand that it's not like understand also king or queen of pentacles is also someone who is very sensual and very caring and um very considerate okay i feel like this person wants to impress you with the changes that they've made this shift this you know they've had this awakening that you know they, they, the wheel moved with the world the, the, the axis has has shifted and this person they want to impress you so they're coming in with this cupid's arrow energy okay a lot of messages a lot of communication coming in august from the uh, august maybe some of you had communication in august or something to do with august a lot of communication um coming in okay some of you are going to hear from this person around november 13th um yep november 13th okay i don't know why they just all of a sudden gave that to me but this person has just completely like the past is over and they want a new start with you okay the past is over they want to show you everything for some reason i feel like they're under the impression that for some of you that this might just be all you need <laughs> um I don't know how much of that might be true some of you for some it might and for others of you it might be more along the lines of like well I really just didn't need your money I just wanted you to express your feelings towards me okay so I'm hearing acts of service I'm hearing that this person might have a difficult time expressing their emotions so they would rather do things for you or show you or impress you and share the wealth with you because that's their way of expressing okay um what else i had a card that just flipped out and it very quietly went back into the deck let me see wow okay very quietly that tells me shh, this person secretly wants to build and marry and be in committed relationship with you so they're going to come in with this you know look at me look at me look what i've done um or if you told them you know if you've said something along the lines to them that you know well you don't you know you don't pay your bills your your car has been repoed i mean you know uh, i can't i can't carry you you're an adult <laughs> you know there's i feel like if some of you said that to this person it, it's i feel like they kind of like took it to heart and thought yeah you're right if i'm gonna be with virgo i gotta really kind of level up in some way here i gotta do something better i gotta get my act together and i feel like they do and they come back and they want to show you is how's this how's this i'm here i'm here i, I love you i want to be with you um and shh 
but I secretly want to be with like long term committed type of an energy with you. Like I want us to be, you know, a couple. Uh, I want to marry you. I want to be like the whole. That's the eleven eleven right there. So I, I don't feel like they're going to tell you that right away. I don't because you do have two marriage cards. I don't feel like this person's just going to reach out to you and say, "Come on, let's get married." I feel like they want to see how you're going to react to them. If you're going to be impressed or if you're going to be like wow okay i feel safe with you i can count on you you're showing me that you know you're stable it's really just about safety and stability more more than anything you know um hmm. let's see you virgo oh wow you got eight of wands you're gonna receive it you're gonna accept all this love Cupid's arrows, Cupid's arrows, okay? This person, like, there's going to be a lot of communication and a whole falling in love all over again. Energy happening here. And I feel like you're... I feel like you're going to be excited. And if this person reaches out to you and does all this stuff, you're going to be, like, responding right away, very quickly, wanting to know about them, wanting to hear, because it's intriguing. There's things that I feel like this person is going to tell you and show to you um, I don't know if they were irresponsible in the past with careers or finances or just everyday things. Maybe they're irresponsible with you in the relationship. Um, but it looks like they're, they're becoming safe and stable. And I feel like you're going to be like shooting those arrows right back at them. Okay. And communicating with them. Let me see what else is going on here. Wow. Okay. Yeah three of pentacles that's a lot of communication there's probably going to be letters written or texts or you know i feel like you're really going to want to know your curiosity study you know well what have you been doing well how did you get that way did you go to school did you go get your degree what's going on you know um I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication going back and forth maybe text messages okay writing i'm i'm just seeing all this you see how he has that quill pen and then there's paper it's like writing but it, this is pentacle so it's all about like it's all about their pentacles their you know their their money or or their their job or what you know the the physical tangible things that you're going to want to know but the, the this is a love connection man if ever with some kind of problem that occurred that needed to be re, uh, resolved but another person needed to resolve stuff within themselves okay but virgo you i okay look at you oh my gosh you're the sun so you're going to be very very happy i feel like you're going to be very happy to hear from this person and to hear about their successes and and they're very single here um hear about their successes and how well they've done and super excited and positive and joyous that they um are coming back to give to you this person i feel like really truly wants to show you because they didn't feel they just i feel like didn't feel they got their confidence back and they want to show you and they may even there might be some communication they might tell you you know i didn't feel like i was good enough for you even if you never put any kind of expectation on this person this was not about you virgo it was about them and i don't know what the back full history is um, or was with this person, but this person wants to be good enough for you. They want to be everything for you. Okay. My goodness, Nine of Cups. This is like a wish coming true here for you, Virgo. I don't even know what to say. I mean, some of you, this is something that you've wanted, if not for both of you, but for this person. I feel like this is something that this is like a wish coming true so for those of you who have been wanting this here it is okay i know there's some of you who are like not for me well that's fine okay that's fine this it, it's not every reading is for you this reading is for someone here that needed to hear this and they know exactly what i'm talking about one more okay yeah look that's what i said touch the tower energy shocking surprise you're gonna be shocked Virgo, with this person's coming in, like 
This person, oh my gosh, they're they're going to be chasing after you like crazy. They want to they want to impress you. They want to please you. They want to show you how much they've accomplished, how well they've done. They may even want to like there's a reunion. This person wants to have a reunion with you and connects. It's definitely a past energy. Okay. Let me Virgo. Uh wait, let me just I think we got all the signs. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Leo, Aquarius, uh, Triple Scorpio, and um, I think that's it. Oh, Aries. I'm picking up Aries too. Okay. Let's see. But just remember, if I didn't call the person's sign, it doesn't mean it's not the reading for you. Let's see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. What are the love messages for Virgo? Okay, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Virgo, I really feel like you're going to be shocked about this. Some of you might just be like, hold on, hold the phone. I need to go tell my mom. Or I need to like talk to my friend because this person's coming back to my life and everything's shifting. Again, it's that, you know, new moon in Libra. It's that whole new beginnings in love and relationship, partnership, energy playing out here. Coming out of that Mercury retrograde, a lot, that Mercury retrograde was tough for a lot of people. Let me see what else is going on. The new moon always has a new beginnings. Okay, give your relationship a chance, Virgo. I feel like you're being asked here to give this person a chance. They're really going to come in. And if you think like they're just coming in because they're just trying to, it's they're just trying to impress you. They just, I don't even feel like, Virgo, you want to be impressed. Some of you, you might just already love this person and it doesn't matter. You'd live under a rock with them on an island somewhere. Some of you might be like, no, no, you got to come in with that. Mercedes Benz or it's not happening. You do you, whatever you have to do. But I feel like give this person a chance is your message here because they're really coming in. Some of your friends might tell you, well, you know, it seems like they're this person's really trying, Virgo, and 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 let them give it, a, let them try, and and give them an opportunity to try again because it looks like this person's really gonna like do cartwheels in front of you. Okay. Healing family issues. All right. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's very beautiful. Okay. Um, there's a connection to that card for some of you. I don't know exactly what is going on there, but for some of you, um, forgiving your parents is very important at this time. Um, and also this person healing. So they definitely want it. Okay. All right. So they're giving me the message in reverse also. This person has been also talking to their friends. There's either one or two friends that has said to them, if you want Virgo, you have to go after Virgo. Virgo doesn't take any shit. Virgo is not substandard. Virgo is someone who is successful and high on the, um, you know, is high status generally. You know, Virgo does have a good heart, but Virgo is, is refinement. Virgo is quality over quantity. And somebody might be telling your person, you know, listen, you got to be the best you in order to be the best for somebody else. And this person is, was listening to them and, you know, maybe was asking for some help or they were getting advice. There might have been some issues with family. Okay. Um, they might have had family who said, no, don't go with Virgo or stay, you know, not good for you, too much for you, a, a lot of differences or something. And I feel like this, your person is like forgiving the parents for having an influence on them um, and healing any fa issues with family members and letting that go so that they can have this love because this person really does love you, Virgo. Okay. Yep, they're look, they're loving themselves first. That's amazing. I never <laughs> the cards when I do them and the messages come out, it always even to this day still amazes me how the cards back up the messages. This person, like I said, did not feel worthy. I don't even know. This person could have been dating a stray dog and still would not have felt worthy for that stray dog who is eating 
chicken bones out in the garbage. This person's uh, self-esteem was so low. Their lack of confidence was so low in love. Maybe not in other areas of their life, but when it comes to love, this person, deep ego, fear issues, and may have sabotaged this relationship. Things are shifting. Healthy choices happening for this person. Self-love. They never loved themselves first. They always, maybe they were a people pleaser, did everything for everybody else. Everybody else got the, the white meat and they took the dark and they didn't want the dark. Okay. And I'm talking about like a Thanksgiving turkey there. They were there or wherever the, the food, they were handing out all the best food to everybody else and they weren't saving any for themselves. That's shifted. This person is loving themselves in a healthy way because if you can't love yourself, how can you love anybody else? If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, right? So this person, I definitely feel like that's a shift there and they are learning how to be um, better, definitely better. And a lot of their self-confidence in these changes, um, and it happens to all of us, begin to bleed down into our everyday lives, okay? So let me see. It's like a trickle down kind of thing. What other message is here for you, Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Hey, speed and travel. You guys, in my deck, that is the eight of wands. So that's three times. Okay. Yep. This is going to move very quickly. This person coming back in and you receiving them, you guys are going to be like a gunshot right at the gate. Gates lift, horses are off. They're off. You guys, as soon as, soon as you uh, talk to this person again, you're going to welcome them back in. You're going to receive them and have this exchange. And then things are just, you're going to, boom, take off. Things just get right back on track. Things just get right back on track. Okay. Yep. Anger, no win situation in reverse, which means joy, happiness, a win-win. <clears throat> this is a win-win for you. This is Oh, excuse me. And a win-win for this person. Like you and this person just meant to be together. That's how I feel. The love is there. The Cupid's arrows is that crush. The Cupid's arrows is that can't get enough of each other energy. Okay. So right now you have to trust your intuition. Okay. You may not have enough light at this time. Uh, you, some of you might be sitting here like, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe it's done. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but just remain still until more information is available to you. You will receive. You'll, you will hear from this person. Like I said, November 13th, they were giving me, and I feel like, let me see. Hmm. Well, that's Remembrance Sunday in the UK. So it's going to be the week of November 13th, but it's going to start on the 13th. So from the 13th, like to the 19th, it's interesting too, because I said Thanksgiving. So we have that here in the, in the United States. Um, maybe like the holiday start, there's going to be a reconnection, but I'm telling you, Virgo, this thing with this person is going to be like back on. Yes. Let me get the Chinese signs here for you guys. What are the Chinese signs for Virgo? Okay, so we have a year of the pig, and this could be you, could be your person, um, it could be none, so don't sweat it. Year of the snake, year of the rabbit, year of the dog, okay, we have a monkey, we have a rat, we have a rooster, and one more, year of the tiger, okay. So again, could be you or your person. It could be both of you or it could be neither. Like I said, don't sweat it. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. All right, let's get some numbers here. And we got seven minutes left. And then we'll finish out the reading. Okay, we have Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Who else do we have? Libra. Okay. So somebody's birthday is on the 10th, also on the 5th. All right. Someone was born in 1980. 
Okay, we have the 11th, the 18th, the 9th. Okay, let me move this out because I don't want to use that. Um, actually, we have 111, 111. Hmm, very important. So, 11, it's 1111 connection, you guys. Very spiritual, a spiritual connection. Let me get a couple more signs. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, twice. All right. And we have Aries, like I said, Virgo, a Libra again, and Gemini's here. Gee, what a surprise. Might be calling all the signs. Aquarius and Taurus. Okay. And like I said, if I didn't call your person's sign, don't sweat it. All right, let me see. I want to get a couple numbers here. See what resonates for you. Okay, 1963, I'm picking up. Okay, and then I'm getting 2019, significant time, significant year. Okay, um, somebody might have just turned 50. All right, so address or these three numbers significant 506 or 5506. All right, and I'm picking up, oh, December 2019, again, picking that up. Okay, let's do some area codes. Now, I know this is going to be for the U.S., but if I'll try to give the international codes as well. Okay, international code 11. Okay. 10204. I'm picking up um, 90012 or 90021 or 91020 or 90210. <laughs> um, let's see. And then we have 1011. Could be These could be area codes, cell phone numbers. Your number will resonate how your number resonates. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. And then let's get your charms. I'm only going to get two so I could see, get a better message for you. One and two. Oh, you got a cute little kitty cat. Okay. Maybe you're sitting with your kitty cat right now or you have a kitty cat. Somebody's getting a cat or getting a kitten or you just got one. Okay. Oh, somebody's got a, a glorious, uh, Meow meow. Somebody's got very glorious. You know, I was thinking of going over to Patreon because I think if I go over to Patreon, um, and you guys, somebody let me know in the chat here. If I go over to Patreon, I might be able to use these cards, right? Because I don't think there's any restrictions over there. If anybody knows or knows any kind of website where I can use these X rated cards, <laughs> if I do, I might. I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, okay, you also have, ooh, a black star. Wow, what the heck does that mean? What's a black star for? I'm seeing it. It's like a logo. It's a black, a black star logo. I don't know if it has something around it, but this is significant. Black, black star or something to do with star or, um, the word star is in it. Star is part of the word, or there's a logo with a star that's a tremendously significant for somebody. Black star, black star. Uh, leave me a comment or in the chat if you know what black star means. I keep, I keep seeing, or like the give line. Oh, I, I say see, I say here because I get these messages. Um, star something to do with like security or a vehicle i'm hearing also and i'm also um and then i'm hearing orion i'm hearing orion or maybe it's brian orion 
Okay. Yeah. So those are your messages. So I'm going to put a timestamp for the singles. I guess you guys don't need to know because you listen, but if you didn't listen to the singles, go back. It starts at the beginning and I'll put a timestamp here for the, the overall general love messages. So again, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And, um, yeah, I'm going to let this reading roll out a little longer so you guys can all chit chat and say goodbye to everyone because I know we haven't spoken. You guys haven't seen each other in a while. But um, yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow with your general love messages, your daily messages. And uh, please do make sure you put a like on the video and please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. That really helps. Um, especially when you put a like because that boosts the reading up in the algorithm and then everybody get a chance to listen and uh, share it if there's anybody that you know who wants to or needs to hear this message. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day and evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.